Good morning, everyone, and welcome to Coffee and Cards with Michelle. My name is Michelle Zanvich, and I'm an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator. I come to you live every weekday morning at 8 and on Saturdays at 9 to start our day with a little fun and crafting creativity. This week, starting on last Saturday, I am demonstrating the Peony Garden Suite, and today we are making three simple stamping note cards that use this pretty suite. Before we do, let me show you what comes in this. So first of all, here are all the stamps that come. And we've got these really large peony blossoms and they're just gorgeous. I mean, so pretty. You saw me color them on Saturday with Magenta Madness. Um, and today we're going a little softer. We're going to kind of follow the, the color palette that's in the designer series paper. We've also got all of these dies. Now these are like builder dies. Okay. So we've got the dies that cut out. Here's this with this, um, stamp and this, um, blossom with this one and here with the little one but the rest of these are leaves and builder dies and honestly I'm going to have to practice that before I show you how that works um, because it looks like a puzzle but you can see right we've got these cutouts and everything it's very cool and then there's this pretty scallop that I cut crooked but um, you can see it's can you see that? It's embossed as well as a scalloped edge, so it's very pretty. And then I wanted to point these out. These are um, square vellum doilies that go with this suite, and these are just gorgeous. The designer series paper that comes with the Peony Garden is very pretty as well, and it's I love that the color palette is very, very simple. Um, it's using basic gray and oh, petal pink blushing bride. Okay. And look at this one. This one looks like marble and some very nice. This is kind of a, a trellis mosaic. So we've got some nice patterns, um, almost a chevron here, um, as well as the blossoms. So again, we'll be using this all week. Put that away. And we're simple stamping today because it is a rainy Monday morning and I thought that would be the best thing to get us started. So what I have are three pieces of six by three thick Whisper White cardstock. So these are gonna be our note cards. And I don't know about you, but I use these a lot. I use these size, you know, to put in as thank you cards for um, customer orders. I use these to go with little gift cards, um, like in a gift bag, or, you know, if I'm giving flowers, this is a great little addition. If I'm taking flowers to somebody or sometimes, you know, they're great to slip in my son's lunchbox. Now, perhaps today's peony garden wouldn't be so great to stick in his lunchbox, but Hey, maybe you've got, you know, someone in your household who would like that. All right. And I'm using three embossing folders today. This is, ooh, boy, that got dirty. Um, the greenery embossing folder um, that comes in the Forever Greenery suite. And here's the second one. So I'm using both of those. And then Tasteful Textiles, which comes in the In Good Taste suite. So here's the one. And then, aren't they great? I love those. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're just gonna put these on our cards. So I was talking to a friend of mine last week and we were talking about the difference between the subtle embossing folder and this tasteful textile 3D embossing folder. And she's like, Michelle, you've got to use this. It's like the subtle embossing folder on steroids. And you know what? It's very, very pretty. It does add just a little bit more 
um, texture than the subtle embossing folder. Now I'm not gonna say that I like it better because you know I love that subtle one, but it's nice to have a choice, right? Okay, I'm using the liquid glue because this morning when I was using my seal, I wasn't getting, this is only, this is cut to two and seven eighths by two and seven eighths and I just couldn't get it lined up. It's too early on a Monday morning. So my Tombow gives me a little more wiggle room. And I am doing white on white, okay? And all measurements can be found over on my blog today at www.makingmemorieswithmichelle.com. St Sticky. It's making a mess with Michelle, I think. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and stamp this with my sentiment. And do you guys want to see a trick I learned? I hope I can do it. Okay. So I'm going to clean this off really quick. This is a very, very quick tip on how to add your labels to your stamps in a much easier way. So I'm going to see, oh, I hope my labels are in here. Okay. So we're using the, your, my thoughts are with you. And I'm going to, so the same friend who told me about the embossing folder told me about this trick. This is crazy. This is, when you see this, you're going to think, oh, why didn't I think of that? So what we're going to do is we're going to put, am I doing this right? Please tell me I'm doing this right. I'm not doing it right. Maybe I am. No. Yes? No. Yes? No. Oh my goodness. Could I please do this on camera? This is what I want. Put it on your block. I told you it's Monday. Way too much, not enough coffee. All right? Watch. This is on your block. You can read it. And then you're going to put this right over your stamp. And it's going to line up and no guessing. Just make sure you get it on. Look at that. You guys, game changer. Just remember, if you get it backwards like I did, you can carefully peel it off and put it back on. Oh, oh, Andrea's going to be laughing at me. I know she is. All right. So make sure you have enough coffee before you do that. I'm going to take basic gray. And we're just making a little sympathy note card. Okay, give it a stamp. And this will help, hopefully. Ew. Help you get this lined up. So did I really put that on Cricut? Ugh. Can we start over? <laughs> It is. It's crooked. Well, you know what? They're going to know I'm really sorry when I send that card because I'm sorry that I stamped your card crooked. I'm glad I had one that turned out. All right. So I'm going to put that aside and you were going to pretend you didn't see that one. We'll put that on my stamparatus later. All right. Let's make something pretty. Susan Strong, if you're watching, I know you're laughing at me this morning too. All right, let's take this pretty little leaf and my old olive stamp set, ink pad. You know what I mean. And this used the layering squares dies.
And I'm going to put some dimensionals back there. It is a great tip for that stamp label if you can put it on straight. One would think that I would have. I think I was flustered. Okay, I'm going to put this here with the leaves. And then I'm going to take my Wink of Stella. And I'm going to color and pull in some of that green. Like so. And I'm going to, I'm not going to stamp anything on the inside because I don't know what I want this to say. So little note cards might just come. And you can clean that off on your grid paper, okay? Those little note cards just might come in handy. That could be thank you, that could be sympathy, that could be anything, all right? Next up, I have my little peony um, stamp, just the little one, and I'm going to stamp that in petal pink today. The whole thing. Right on that little square. And it fits perfectly. Okay, so I'm gonna let that dry a minute. And then I have my old olive watercolor pencil. Now, I haven't used my watercolor pencils in a while, and my friend Sarah was using hers this weekend, and I thought, oh, I could do that too. So I'm gonna pick up some color with my Wink of Stella. I'm just brushing it on. And then I'm going to take it and add some green to those leaves. Sparkly green. This is one of my favorite ways to use watercolor pencils is just to lift that color right off the tip using my Wink of Stella. All right, then you can clean that off on your grid paper. Just wipe it off until it runs clear. And the same thing with the dimensionals. <sighs> Put that right there. And then I am going to go through and just pull in some of that petal pink, add the sparkle all the way around. Okay, so I'm not only adding the color or the sparkle from the Wink of Stella, but I am using this to pull in that pink just to add just kind of a rose gold, right? to that whole blossom. And just because it's gray and raining doesn't mean we can't have sparkle. I am adding a new one of these to my order that I'm placing this morning. Okay, so three super simple note cards. So 
so today I have five instead of six because that other one got crooked. But I can fix that off camera. Super simple, super sweet, all using the prized peony stamp set and some of the new embossing folders that come out of the 2020 annual catalog. All of these um, products will be listed um, down below as well as on my blog today. Um, please make sure that you give me a visit and leave me a comment. Um, there's something I needed to tell you and I don't remember what it is, so I'm sure it'll be on my blog. I hope you have a very good Monday. Join me tomorrow right here at 8 o'clock for Casing Tuesday on my coffee and cards. Have a great day, everyone, and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye-bye.